Now, this series of segments that we're going to do, we aim to educate viewers like you about scintillation detectors, uh, particularly, though, in these segments, the scintillators themselves. So we're kicking off the series with the most well-known and still the most widely used scintillator material. So one of the originals, sodium iodide. Now, technically, the name of the material is thallium-doped sodium iodide, and the doping of the sodium iodide with thallium that first occurred in 1948 by Robert Hofstetter, and this occurred in Princeton, New Jersey. Now, up to that time, most researchers and scientists had been using organic materials to observe the effects of radioactive en energy. These are organic uh, scintillators, organic meaning that these are materials that occur naturally. Now, the thallium doping that was introduced uh, to the sodium iodide also introduced inorganic scintillators. Now, what Hofstadter discovered from adding thallium to sodium iodide is it was a crystal that scintillates at an amazingly bright level when in the presence of radioactivity. And it was a brightness that they'd not seen before. Word got around. And this really opened up things wide. It was the beginning of spectrometry and spectroscopy as we know it now. Scientists witnessed the results and they saw the light. They saw a light bright enough to convert to electrical pulses that they could actually count and measure. This is how it came about. Sodium iodide was the very first inorganic scintillator, and it's still around today. And not just is it around, it's still thriving today. And the reason for this is because sodium iodide has some very important properties. And we're going to cover those. Keep watching. 